afternoon, explorers. Good afternoon. We are at the Tidewater Beach Resort in Panama City Beach, Florida, and we are here to celebrate the new year. Yes. So while I was looking through Airbnb, I wanted to find a reasonably priced place and something that was fun. And I came across this Airbnb that was actually featured on HD television. And so we had to come check it out. And it was affordable for being New Year's Eve and being on the beach. This segment will be shot over a couple days, so you will see us changing outfits, so don't think we were changing that much in one time. Yeah. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go check out the condo and all the amenities this place has to offer. And there's a lot. Yes. Okay, so this condo is a one bedroom, one sleeping nook, two bathroom, and it comes with amazing views. Let's walk around and we'll take a look. Let's start off in the kitchen. They got this big giant refrigerator, a dishwasher so you don't have to do dishes, stove, microwave. This pantry here has so much different cooking pots and pans, so you can definitely cook a meal here, but you're in Panama City, you're not gonna want to. You're gonna wanna go out and try some of that food. This kitchen is kind of compacted, but they have utilized the space pretty well so that you can do what you need to do here. Plus, there are two different kinds of coffee pots, so you can either have regular coffee or cake pots. All right, let's go check out the other room. This is the sleeping nook. It's not an actual bedroom, but you will see these a lot in these little condos along the coast. It's a way to maximize the space and to allow more people to stay in these air, in these condos. So um, they normally put bulk beds here. The second bathroom, it has a washer and dryer combo. It's got a tub and shower. There's your standard toilet, sink, all that stuff. It's well decorated, everything. more space. It doesn't really have a dining room, but it has all these chairs, so there is seating for six still. So if you have a big family, you definitely have enough seats. In the living room, there's seating for five, there's a giant coffee table, there's two end tables with lamps, you come over here, there's a nice big screen television, it does have Roku built in it, and if you actually notice something here, this apartment was featured on Beachfront Bargain Hunt season 25 on HD television. I don't know about you, but we watch HD television all the time. So when we saw that it was actually on it, we had to come see it. So we rented this not just because it was on HD television, but because of this view. It is magnificent. You can see for miles uh, either side of the beach. Now, even though there are hundreds of people in this area, you feel very secluded and you feel like this view is just for you. You're in your own little world. Yes. Now that we stepped into the bedroom, it's got a giant king size bed, there's two end tables with lamps, you got a dresser for all your clothes, there's a flat screen television, there's another door out to the patio so you have your own private exit to the patio and you can kind of wake up to that view every morning, beautiful. Over here there's this little table, it has little baskets and a little bench so you can kind of sit down and you need to work or something or do your makeup or whatever. Good editing in place. Yeah, good editing place. Okay, now step over here. This actually has two bathrooms. That's convenient, especially if you had five people staying here. There's a little closet over here. It's got like an ironing board, you know, in case you want to iron at the beach again. <laughs> There's a pack in place, stuff like that. And then here's the bathroom. This bathroom has granite countertops, big space so you can put all of your stuff up here if you want. There's drawers and all that, you know, and you gotta relax. Frankie say relax. Yes. <laughs> There's the hair dryer. I actually like this over here. There's this whole big storage area so you can just throw all of your stuff if you want in there too. And it's got your standard toilet. It does not have a bathtub but it has a shower. The shower has river rocks. On the, on the wall and then big giant tiles. It's very pretty and it's got a nice glass door. As nice as this condo is at Tidewater Beach Resort, 
you're not here to stay inside. No, you're at the beach. Let's go check out some of those amenities. This place has so much to do inside and outside. Come on. They're gonna give you a code to come into the parking garage. The parking garage is just across the street from the hotel. The second floor is where the catwalk is. So if you wanna unload your stuff, that would probably be the best place to park. You go just down the catwalk, you check in, you get a cart, you come back, you get your stuff, bring it up to your room, and then bring the cart back. So when Nikolai saw this area, he said he felt like he was kind of on a cruise ship. You can see why. This resort actually has a restaurant on site and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it does have a bar, so you guys can come up here and have a drink if you want. It closes by 8 p.m. on most days. What's really cool is this place has a movie theater and they put the showtimes out front and if you have little ones they play a lot of cartoons and stuff like that. You can bring them down here and you can watch a movie and it's all free. So, nice. One strange thing is that they don't allow you to have food or drinks in there though, so just be prepared. No popcorn, sorry. They have this neat little grilling area. Unfortunately you're not allowed to grill on your balconies because fire hazard, right? So they have a nice little grilling area at night. These lights all come on, so it's really cute. And we have all these grills to use. So you can use a George Foreman. We have one in our room. This resort has two pools, one on each side of the building. They also do have hot tubs outside. Um, as you can see, no one's in the pool because the pool is not heated during the winter time. And, and it's also very windy. Yes, so everyone's very cold. We have a nice little game going out here. And during the summer months, when it's hot out here, the bar opens there, the tiki bar. So you can enjoy a drink by the pool next to the ocean. This resort has a store. It's called Flip Flops Corner Market. Unfortunately, it is seasonal. So right now, during the winter, it's closed. But during the rest of the year, it actually is open and they have Starbucks, Edie's ice cream, and they have a huge list of daiquiris. They look delicious. Probably the most important amenity, and the real reason why you probably booked here, is the beach. Panama City is just covered with beautiful emerald green water. And let's face it, if you can stay on the beach, you should try to stay on the beach. Yes. <laughs> This actually puts you really close to the pier, and you are also close to Pier Park, which is across the street from the pier. So everything that you have here was in within walking distance. Yeah, and the, and the price is just so cheap yes. for being on the beach. So they have two of these game rooms here. It looks like there's a lot of fun games that you can play. We switch to the GoPro, we're gonna go check out the indoor pool. All right, we decided to check out the spot. Hoping yeah. it's a little bit warmer. Yeah. <laughs> so they do have a, oh yeah, it's already, I can feel it. It's really warm in here. But they do have a full gym, it looks like here, so you can get your work on. We're gonna go in here, it's called a Roman Spa. Eight to 10, yep. not that yep. many. Definitely a lot warmer in here. It's actually like a sauna. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. All right, let's go sit yeah. in it. Then we get just a nice view of the ocean. There's a lot of people out there. I know it's cold. One thing to note, the Airbnb host does not provide towels, neither does Tidewater. Um, I asked the Airbnb host why, and she told me because everybody kind of left with them. I don't know why you would steal somebody's towels, but they did. So she got tired of replacing them. So, if you're coming here, definitely bring a towel. If you're coming here in the winter time, bring one of those big towels that you can like 
wrap around you because you have to walk through the catwalks and it's a little cold. Okay, explorers, I think this is where we're going to leave you. We really enjoyed our stay here at the Tidewater Beach Resort. This place was actually conveniently located near Pier Park and a couple other things. And it just felt like there was so much to do in the area and you could walk to a lot of it, which is great because there's like restaurants and bars and stuff like that. So nobody wants to drive. I know I don't. <laughs> exactly. And we've actually looked this place up throughout various times of the year and it is affordable. Yeah, you don't have to be rich to stay here. Exactly. And that view is amazing. Definitely come just for the view. <laughs> mm -hmm. We will put a link below to the HGTV episode so you can see where the owners were thinking and what their reasoning was for doing it. But we're pretty sure it had to do with the view. With the view. I just, I, we found ourselves just sitting on that balcony every day, just staring at the, the ocean, you know? Mm -hmm. And it is in within great location of a lot of the uh, things that you can do in this area. Yeah, and definitely during the events like 4th of July and uh, New Year's Eve, they shoot the fireworks right out the back patio. So you're like right there and you just get this amazing show. Exactly. Yeah. Well, as always, thank you for coming along with us. Keep exploring. And we'll see you on the next one.